Hey Roadstead Project community. So in honor of National Women's Month, we have been highlighting various women theologians. Well, this piece, I want to honor a whole women's theological approach. So I wanna to talk to y'all about womanist, womanist theology slash the movement. So you're like, what is that? Who was involved? So in the mid 1980s, there were three African American scholars, Katie Canyon, Jacqueline Grant, and Dolores Williams. And they realized that there was more need for an inclusive theological and ethical framework that, was con that needed to concern and increase black liberation theology. So, so what is, so that was who, who brought it to the table, but what is it? So womanist theology is a thought that helps to describe oppression and empower the press in order to create change. So in this approach to theology, it centers around the experience and, and perspectives of African, African American women and how through their lens and how they, their experience. So this is a theology that uses the voice and experience of black women, and it is a model for destroying, breaking barriers, um, any oppressive forms, which usually exist in the silence and the voiceless throughout the Bible. So in order for black women to reclaim their identity and tell their stories, the literary work of black women is extremely important. And so this is what these three women decided to come up with, the, with this theological approach to, hear, to get the, their voices heard more, right? So what did these theologians do? So Canyon, Grant, and Williams, they were the first wave of womanist scholars who connected with and, and appreciated the work of Alice Walker. And they began to see that there, there is, what she was saying was there's an ethical value of how to, um, how to begin seeing the Bible through the lens of gender equality, crippling capitalism, certain oppression, racial discrimination. And so these women really took that and, and began to develop the womanist uh, theology. So why is this theology appro um, approach so important? And why is Roadstead Project even wanting to honor it? Well, so prior to this construction of, of womanist ethical reflection and, and, and ethics, there was no construct or a place that would encourage black women, women to reclaim their identity, love for their full selves, and, and use their historical voices as encouragement for dismantling the white patriarchal dominant narrative of the Bible. So this is this approach began to give women, particularly African American black women, a voice in the Bible and see themselves represented. So that it was dis so the whole part of this it dismantles norms, it reimagines, it challenges some of us who are used to those traditional norms, and it it's it included in the critique of black liberation theology, um, which is focused which that is focused specifically on social justice from the angle of anti racism. Um, so a lot of womenist scholars, theo theologians, <clears throat> they are, they are, are working their to their best selves. So they are working beyond the unequal social structures by ending race and gender based oppression. They are trying to embody empowerment and doing the things they want to do on their own terms, which is just trying to help women see a reflection of themselves, um, particularly African-American women. So Katie Canyon, I love this quote by Katie Canyon. She describes the lifelong experience, um, this, lifelong, this lifelong experience as, and she quotes, she says, repeatedly unheard, but not unvoiced, unseen, but not invisible. Instead, womanism connects our cultural values, oral traditions, and social experiences to our spirit forces in the quest for meaning amid suffering. There is no absence of suffering when doing womanist work. But there is also more to womanist work than responding to the evils and oppression of the dominant narr narrative spoken against Black women. So, so to sum it all up, the womanist theology is super important, um, and I wanted to honor it tonight and all the women who, in the early mid 1980s to present, who are engaged in that theology. Um, we just bless you. Continue that work. Continue that lens. Um, it is so important. So I bless, I bless my womanist theology scholar, theologian sisters. Um, 
in this episode. Be blessed.